presence, your glory, your presence now. We stand awaiting, anticipating for an outpour of your life changing power. I see your hand, you've touched my heart.
just made my day. Come on. Hello, God. Let's say it. Come on. Hello, God. So glad. So... Hello, God. Please stay. Hello, God. Hello, God. Make yourself, make yourself comfortable. Hallelujah. It's a bulky. Come on. Let's Wave over, come on, come on. Hello, God, hello, God. Yeah. Hello, God. Please stay. Hello, God. Yeah. Make yourself, make yourself comfortable. One more time. One more time. And good evening, everybody. Welcome to Sunday Night Hymn Praise. Aren't you glad, my goodness, that when God comes in your life, amen, it's just, it, he makes our day. God bless all of you. Thank you so much for joining us uh, uh, tonight. Please make sure you like and share, because when you like and share, you're literally inviting somebody to a worship experience. Amen. Come on, y'all. Let's like and share. And while you're doing that, can you do me a favor? Can you please put the city and state that you're tuning in from? And we'll be right back. Come on, let's go. We've come this far, my faith. Thank, and thanks to all of you all who are uh, liked and shared tonight. That truly is a blessing to us for word of mouth is still the number one promotion that we could ever have. And thank you to my thank you to my hymns family, our hymns family for your like and share. We want to welcome all of our guests 
uh, who are joining us for the first time, those of y'all who are here to support our guest tonight, God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. Want to give a big shout out tonight to Miss Tommy Thompson, amen. Miss Tommy Thompson, everybody uh, went to get my son Stephen uh, in Dallas to take him to the airport on Friday so that he could get home, amen, to us. And so thank you so much, Miss Tommy Thompson. The Hymns family truly rocks. I want to also thank uh, Pastor Gilbert Mack and the Mount Carmel Baptist Church today in Winchester, Virginia. I drove all the way down to the Shandor Valley, amen, to preach and sing uh, for the Mount Carmel and their ushers, amen, for their ushers anniversary. And my, 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 did those ushers march down the aisle today? They showed off today and they are celebrating 102 years. My goodness, ushers, 102 years of ushers being in existence at the Mount Carmel Baptist Church. And of course, I want to give a big shout out to my friend, Lady Robin Sugar Williams Mack, who's been my friend since before we were teenagers, amen, who is the uh, only lady, we don't say first lady no more, only lady, because first lady may mean there may, there may be another, amen, but only lady, Robin Sugar Williams Mack, big shout out to you, my sister in Christ. God bless all of you. Listen, my guest tonight, his name is Aaron Scott Freeman. Aaron Scott Freeman from Alabama, and I forgot the city, the, the town already. I'm going to let him tell me. Uh, but he's been playing the piano for over 30 years. Say that again, babe. I'm sorry. Aaron. I, see, I done messed it up. Aaron Freeman. Been playing the piano for over 30 years. Uh, he received his Bachelor of Science degree in music education from the University of North Alabama, and he has a master's degree in music education, both from North Al uh, University of North Alabama. His accomplishments include playing for various churches. He serves alongside his dad, who is the pastor of Emmanuel Christian Center. He serves as their minister of music, but Aaron is also uh, uh, a, a music teacher teaching high school. We're going to have a good time talking about that because that's what I did as well. Uh, he's a producer. He's a songwriter. He's a choir director. Amen. Not just teaches in music in the school system, but he's also the director of the Quad City Community Mass Choir there in Alabama. He's played and served for several community groups and local gospel groups. He has conducted several workshops. This man is talented, and he's a delightful man of God. I mean, I really had a good time talking to him, and I know that you all are going to enjoy him tonight, uh, not just his music, but his spirit and his attitude. Would you please welcome, for the first time, to Sunday Night Hymn Praise, Mr. Aaron Freeman. Let's get my applause together. <laughs> We'll talk about the name later. We just, <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, man. Appreciate you joining me tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, man. Yes, God bless you. Well, we're just going to get started and see how things go, okay? Yes, sir. All right. All right.
That's good stuff right there, man. Oh, that's church right there. <laughs> that's church right there. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, yes, let me see. Sir. Let's keep it going. Uh, yes, sir. We just having fun. Yes, sir. Whatever the Lord lays on your heart. Thank you. 
Yes, sir. One of your, uh, what's one of your favorite songs you like to do on the, on, on the organ? I feel a little something tingling in, in my bones when you just playing that organ. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get your church going on that organ. We'll oh, get some going. Oh, man. Wow. Um, gosh, I can't even. There's several songs. Uh, I know my grandma, when she was living back in the day, she used to love me um, playing Is My Living in Vain. She always, every time I would go over to her house, she would say, Grandson, come on, get on this organ. Come on, give me some <laughs> of that. Give us some of that tonight. Oh, yeah. 
Grandson. <laughs> Grandson playing that thing. Lord have mercy. Twinkie said, is my, is my playing the organ in vain? <laughs> Tribute to the Clark sisters. You know? <laughs> oh, man, that was right on time for us, man. That was, be- that was good. That was good. Oh, that's going to end up in one of, our, one of our highlight reels. All right. <laughs> yeah, you playing is my living in vain. Yeah, that's, that was good to my soul. Amen. Oh, wow. Y'all give a big shout out, you all, to Mr. A. Ron Freeman. Amen. Mr. A. Ron Freeman. You. Now, tell us, yes, what part sir. of Alabama are you from? Well, I'm originally from Russellville, Alabama. Russellville. Say that again? Russellville. Russellville, okay. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm in Russellville, but I attend church in Leeton. Leeton, in Leeton. Alabama. Mm-hmm. Is that where your father's church is in Leeton? Yes, sir. Do you live in Leeton or you live in Russellville? Live, I live in Leeton. Okay, cool, mm-hmm. cool. Yeah. And where is that? What is that proximity to a big city? Um, it's about an hour away from Huntsville. Mm-hmm. So that's like, yeah, it's about an hour and uh, twenty minutes away from Huntsville. Yeah, it depends on where you go. So, so, t- so, t- so, you know, before we get into your life, tell me a little bit about Leeton. Is a small town. It's a small town. Everybody know everybody? <laughs> yeah, it's from the country, a rural area, so uh, uh-huh. everybody knows everybody. Everybody know everybody. So what, yes, is, what do they call you? They call you like, 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 like Earl Bynum, right? I'm from <laughs> Earl Bynum. When I, went to, when I went to his hometown, they said Little Earl. <laughs> <laughs> he, don't, he don't know that. I'm saying that right online live. He doesn't know that. They say Little Earl. Earl. Little Earl, Little Earl, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Do they, do they have a nickname for you? No, it's just Aaron. Well, A, just, I guess A. Right. Some and, people and call look, me A. Hey, look, and you and you corrected me. It's not Aaron like we know. It's, it's Aaron. Aaron, yes. And, Aaron. And I want mom, your mama. She's probably watching. So. I don't want your mama to be mad with me. <laughs> I want to get it right. Aaron. Aaron. Yes, sir. You all, let's yes, sir. let's bless Aaron tonight. His cash app is uh, is up. He also has a PayPal, and if you need to send a Zelle, you can send it to us. Let's be a blessing to him tonight. So here, it's my first question I ask everybody. Uh-huh. Who is Aaron? Who is Aaron? Well, mm-hmm. first of all, I, I love God. I'm a man of God, so mm-hmm. I'm saved, and, uh, you know, that's I, I just love God. I love God, and I'm a servant. I love people. Um, I love talking to people and meeting people. Um, I'm a music producer. Um, you know, I've been writing music and uh, produced several songs. Um, I'm, a, I'm a songwriter. I released um, three original songs so in the past uh, five years. So okay. I'm a songwriter, as you said, a teacher. I'm a teacher, um, full-time teacher. I teach at Russellville, so that's my alma mater. Russellville High there. School? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. And before your, um, as far ahead. as your songs are concerned, are they on Amazon or any place like that right now? Yes, yes, they are. How do we find them? Um, you can find them on Amazon. You can find them on Apple Music. Um, just uh, search Aaron Freeman. Uh, I re- released a song back in 2017 entitled Moving Forward. And um, you can uh, listen to that on iTunes and all uh, digital outlets. <clears throat> Amen. Well, we got a lot in common because we. I just re- I just left the school system after teaching 20 years, and the majority of my time was with high school. And you teach 6th to 12th grade, right? Yes, sir. Before that, I taught um, elementary music, so I taught for... You did everything. Yeah, yeah. P through 12th grade, so... Oh, my God. <laughs> Which one did you like better? You like, <laughs> you like what you're doing now better, or you like the elementary school better? Um... They both have pros and cons. Mm-hmm. That's um, a n- nice political answer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. Um, you know, you have your sweet, innocent elementary students, but, you know, they'll keep you going and keep you tired at, mm-hmm. you know, during the evening time. And you have your middle and high school students, you know, which are good, but, you know, those 
hormones kick in. So, yeah, you know, you look like the kids like you. Oh, uh, yeah, I hope they do. <laughs> do they? Well, I, well, look, this is how you know if the kids like you. Do they send you the bad students? Uh, sometimes they do. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes they strategically send them to you because they know that there's something about you that can help them. Yeah. Yeah. I try to be a light in them. Amen. You know, students and try to shine my light. They try to shine my light. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. How long have you been teaching? I've been teaching for about going on 11 years. 11 so years. Have you seen a change every- in, the, in the generations yet with, with the school kids? Or? Yes. Yes. What's the biggest um, change you think you've seen? Just the parental support. Mm, gone um, down? It's not like it was uh, when mm. I first started. And that's crazy, you know, within the 10 years that I've taught, just the, you know, parental support and kids these years uh, get away with a lot more, you mm-hmm. know, than years before. But um, other than that, um, it's it's a big change. And, and just the, just their, <coughs> you know, personalities and everything, um, I, I've seen a big change throughout my yeah. school year. Yeah, well, as far teaching. as being a, as far as being a minister of music, um, you you've been you you've been helping your dad for all these years, right? Yes, sir. I've been right. helping him uh, a long time. I, I would say ever since I was age uh, at the age of nine, I've been playing for Emmanuel Christian Center. I've been the praise and worship leader, choir director, you name it, mm-hmm. all of the above, and and plus more. Um, you know, just help out when I, I step in when I'm needed. You know, um, I work the soundboard, media ministry. Wow. Uh, I work in the church, you know, church ministry, youth ministry, and mm. and everything, and putting together a lot more. So it's just more than being a minister of music, you know. Yeah. I, I you do are, help you out. Are literally, I'm a servant, so. You're a servant, but you are literally his right hand. <laughs> Amen. You come in and make things happen when things need to happen. Yes, sir. I try to That's be there. That's a man, man. I mean, I mean, I want to say God bless you for that. I mean, I I was never blessed to be in one place that long. Mm-hmm. That just not that, that because I that was just not God's plan for my life. Uh-huh. But you serving your parents and not moving, not leaving them, um, I think that's admirable because a person of your talent and skills. Uh, I'm sure that there were other offers or other opportunities that you could have taken. Oh, yes. Cho- yeah, oh, it, yes. but you chose to stay with your parents. I think that's admirable. Yeah. You I preach just, too? Oh, no, I don't. I don't. You don't um, preach? Uh, we, so he, so, he, so, he, so he's, he's not going to do a Joe Osteen on you, is he? <laughs> you know, Joe Osteen was working the cameras. All of a sudden, he just be, he came away from working the cameras. <laughs> <laughs> to pre- to run in a church. <laughs> uh, we're going to pray on that one, okay? You you're going to pray on that one? <laughs> Do you have other siblings? Yes, I have a brother and a sister. Do they preach? Uh, no. You're it. <laughs> I just play I'm, <laughs> I'm just playing with you, Aaron. Just, <laughs> I think we're going to have some fun tonight. Well, we're, we're gonna, my brother, uh-huh. we're going to pray that he, you know, receives the gift of... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. I, I, look, I, I look. Keep just keep doing what you're doing. He, he's God probably is, gonna get me when I get off of here. Yeah, but, uh, he gonna call you. So you put me, you put me right. out there, <laughs> right? <laughs> he said, said Mister Phil made me do it. He right, me, uh, he coaxed me. <laughs> right, exactly. Uh-huh. Yeah, we salute you uh, and your siblings. You have a brother and a sister. Are you the youngest? I am the baby. You're the yes, baby, sir. and the, that's, that's I'm that not is, spoiled. You're not spoiled, though, huh? No, sir. I'm not oh, well, see, I'm not ashamed to say my parents spoiled me. Yeah. A yeah, lot of people say I'm Just because you said that, that, that you, you said that, I, we know. <laughs> just because you said that, you, you, you. We, <laughs> oh, man. Hey, Ron, I tell you what, man. Can you, we'll come back and talk some more, but can you bless us with whatever God's laid on your heart? Just give, just give us a nice little medley or something, and we'll come on back. Okay.
Wonderful, brother. Wonderful, wonderful. And God bless you. Bless Thank you, Lord, sir. for all you've done for yes, me. Yes, sir. I'm thankful. I am truly thankful. So, so, so who are some of the artists that have influenced you in your life? Wow. I don't know where to start. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I've, ever since I was young, I've you always know, listened to, um, like, as far as musicians, Twinkie Clark, uh, the Clark Sisters. Um, you a little closer? Oh, I was there saying uh, the Clark Sisters, Twinkie Clark. Um, <clears throat> I've listened to her. I've listened to Donna Lawrence. Um, just a lot of gospel artists like that um, that have inspired me and, and, and inspired my playing. So, um, yeah, I, I love. Is is there is there a song out or anything like that that has that has been been moving you lately? Um, I would say, um, well, a lot of the music, you know, I, I'm just old school. Mm -hmm. I am, um, <clears throat> you know, there's a lot of, um, praise and worship songs that are great, but I'm, I'm just from the old school where I am. Mm -hmm. Um, I just, songs that, um, just whatever I listen to, um. Any I old know. school songs right now that's moving you or moving your church or in a certain way? And sometimes my church has seasons where there's a song that really gets them. Yeah, I would say, um, <clears throat> you know, praise him. Uh, mm. I love to praise him. I know um, there's a song, uh, and, and it's been out by Byron Cage, I Will Bless the Lord. I, in fact, I sung that today. Mm -hmm. um, it's just a testimony. Um, I mean, I can relate to that song, I Will Bless the Lord, just the things that I go through throughout the day that I will bless him in spite of what I go through. Um, mm -hmm. And I know that, you know, that I will bless the Lord and, and bless that I'm blessed. And I know that late in the midnight hour, God is going to turn things around in yeah. my life. So yeah. those two songs, um, I'm blessed in the, in the city. Right. Fred Hammond, that song. And then, um, and, and then I will bless the Lord. Yeah, and I will bless the Lord. That writer is from D.C. His name is Isaiah Thomas. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, he actually okay. wrote that song. Yeah, I will bless God. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In well, fact, uh, speaking of that, um, my mom, I'm going to put her on the spot. She, does it. she didn't want me to do this, but she sings one of your songs, I Love the Lord. Oh, she and sings I Love the Lord? Yes. Oh, man. <laughs> What's your mother's name? Oh, uh, Pamela. 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 Miss uh -huh. Pamela, God bless you. I, I need a video of Miss Pamela singing I Love the Lord. Does she walk the floor with it? She try, she gets with it now. Come on now, I need to see it. <laughs> she before she sings that she has to. Um, she says I got to practice over the run. And uh huh. I'm like mom just sing. She said no, I got to get it right and everything. <laughs> but she loves that song. I love the Lord. He uh huh. Uh -huh. My cry. She loves that song. So. Oh man, bless your mother. I appreciate that. I am I am I am I am honored. Yeah. Amen. I am honored. So we rock your music, sir. Amen. I appreciate, <laughs> I, I, I appreciate that as well. <laughs> uh, so, so, so tell me, I mean, you're 37. Um, what advice would you give a 17-year-old right now getting in music or pursuing gospel or church music or anything like that, ministry-wise? Um, I would just say don't give up mm -hmm. um, on your dreams. Don't give up. Um, it's so much, so many distractions, and it's many times that, and many opportunities where you can be discouraged, but mm. don't give up. Um, mm. God, and, and you know, if God says it, he'll do it. You mm. know, pray about it. <clears throat> and because um, he's a man of his word, you know, he, he never fails. And uh, if he said it, he's going to do it. Mm. And um, I mean, we can, we can look back at the promise of uh, Sarah and Abraham, you know, how long it took. Uh, for them to have that child, but you know, we just got to hang on in in there and stay faithful, stay mm -hmm. faithful to God and the things that He have, and don't give up on your dreams. No matter how it looks, no matter how it seems, don't give up. Keep going, keep going. That's that's a that's a mighty word. Last mm -hmm. question I'm gonna ask you: You've been a you've been a minister of music for a long time now, working under a pastor who happens to be your dad. Mm -hmm. What is that work relationship like? And you know, and how have you been able to make it work for so for so long? Because you, cause you're grown now, so now you got thoughts and feelings and things that, that you said that you couldn't <laughs> say when you were a teenager. Yeah. So I mean, so how do you work that out now? Well, you know, I just, I just think back over the word that was given to me, 
um and the word and it, it just rests in my heart to mm-hmm. stay faithful to the ministry because god will open up doors and um that's what i've tried to do i've tried to stay faithful um to the ministry and to the church and um just try to be a servant that's that's who i am i'm a mm-hmm. servant and i try to do what i can to help the ministry um me and my dad's work relation is pretty good you know um, I try to work with him, uh, things he won't done, and, and I try to do it, you know, and I may give a input, but, you know, he's the pastor overall, so mm-hmm. um, I try to, you know, follow the lead of the pastor, and Are not you only mentoring? he's my dad, but try to respect him in his capacity, so. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Are you mentoring other musicians now, too? Well, you know, in fact, I am starting to teach piano lessons. I started um, about three weeks ago and I figured I said man I need to start teaching because it's a deficit of musicians in our area Mm. so many so many people call me and looking for a musician I say hey do you know a musician and a lot of musicians in this area have passed I know right off of the top of my hand um, just five musicians that have passed in the past I would say seven years Wow. So um, uh, these musicians are leaving here. So, In a, um, in a small area, that's devastating. Yeah. yeah. Not easy to re- be replaced. Yeah. So. Wow. Um, I'm starting to uh, teach le- lessons on Saturday, uh, every other Saturday, um, mm-hmm. teaching piano lessons. So. Wow. Well, that's, mm-hmm. that's, that's very noble of you to do that, yeah. to fulfill a need. I'm sure there is a need. Uh, in my area, there is a shortage of musicians for many, many reasons, not just one. Yes, yeah, some have passed. Yeah. But the pandemic really did a number on <clears throat> church musicians. And oh yes, when churches um, shut down and they didn't and they didn't bring their musicians back, a lot of musicians went and did other things, mm-hmm. um, and they never returned. Right. Um, yeah. I'm not sure if you found that to be an issue in your area, but oh, yeah. that happened definitely yeah. in our area. And now you know there's a there's a there's a huge shortage of musicians uh, mm-hmm. um, in, in in our area. <clears throat> and I think the best thing to do. In some cases, is to for some some may have to consolidate for a while, make the best yeah. of a situation, and realize mm-hmm. that what people really need is authentic authenticity. Right, and so right. It, you don't necessarily have to have the best of everything. Right, right. But they need an an, an authentic worship experience, and and people will stay. They, they will gravitate to authenticity. So um, yeah, that's that's what I try to do. Mm-hmm. I'm at my church. Um, I'm not perfect, but I know when I hit the stage, I just ask God to use me. To, to you know just take myself out of the way i don't want to be in the way and i just ask god to have his way whenever i'm leading in worship and yeah man and he comes in i just every wanna, time yeah he comes in just yeah. trusting him and he'll do man, it you got a good spirit about you brother I, I, you know i just i just believe that you, you keep going god's going to continue to open up doors and i've seen god open up doors without you having to move Yes, sir. You know, yes, people sir. say, I had to move to Atlanta. I had to move to New York. I had to move to California. But mm-hmm. I've seen God open up doors for me in my little old town of Waldorf, Maryland. Wow. Wow. So God can open up doors with major doors where people will come to you. That's true. Come to your small city. That's true. Just to work with you. And I'm praying that blessing over you yes, um, in Jesus' name that God would multiply um, everything that you're doing and take you to higher heights and deeper depths yes, uh, in, in, in right Jesus now. name. Yeah. In Jesus name. I speak that over you tonight yes, in sir. Jesus name. Let's, let's take some, um, let's take some, um, some requests and put one request in. We're not going to get to them all, but put one request in and we'll try to get to as much as we can or do as much as we can. Um, if we don't get to your request, I want you to know that I'm here Tuesday and Thursday nights as well where we play requests for a longer period of time. You can put your request in then, and we can try to get to it. All right, all right let's get to the first one. What's the first one you see, babe? The, 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 the blood still works. You want to do, can you do a little bit of that on the organ? Oh, the blood still works. Yeah, uh-huh. That's by my, my, my friend Malcolm Williams. Okay. Let's see. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> Go ahead, man. Let me get my washboard.
<laughs> you re you came prepared tonight, sir. I came prepared. Yes, Look, sir. I got the serving spoon tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Y'all ain't ready. Y'all ain't ready. Y'all are not ready for Dr. Carter. I'm going to have to call you Dr. Carter on that. I'm, 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 I'm just, I'm, I'm a mess. I ain't no doctor. I'm just a mess. <laughs> what's, let me see what's next. Uh, Carmel Tate Miller, Prayer of J-Baz. This is for you, Miss Carmel Tate Miller. Uh. That's for you, Miss Miller. That's a good song. Yeah, it is. It is. It is. So what I say? Audrey Alla, I will complain. I think she's talking about my version. Um, but do you know the old, old the, the churchy version of the organ? I'll sing a little bit of it. Let's switch it up a little bit. What song? I, I, won't, I won't complain. complain. Okay. Let's we'll yeah. see what we can do. Give it to me in, in D flat. And I'm a, I'm two I'm a, two seconds behind you, so just know that. Get them in D flat. I've had some good days. I've had some hills to climb. I've had some weary days. And Some lonely nights, but when I, I look around and I think things over, all of my good days outweigh my. than this old world or you could ever be I said he's been so good to me he dries all my tears away and he turns my midnight in the day so with all that, I say thank you, Lord. 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 Oh, I won't complain. Well, 
Every, everything sound good with an organ behind it. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Praise God, man. You're blessing us tonight. What's hey, next? God be the glory. God be the glory. Amen. Do you know when I see Jesus? Uh, a little bit of for Miss For Miss Adele Irvin. Uh, you stay the same key. I've learned something like this. How to live holy. Uh, when I see Jesus, amen. Yeah. I, I can sing a little bit of it while you play. What okay. key you want to do then? It doesn't matter. So same key. I've learned how to live holy. I've learned how to live right. I've learned how to suffer. For if I suffer, I'll gain eternal life. For when I see Jesus, amen. When I see Jesus, amen. All of my heartaches, all of my troubles, will be over when I see Jesus Amen Oh Amen Come on sir Yes Lord Yes Lord that's one of them songs back in the day, boy. We it fall out in this ba whole, a whole Baptist bitch. You better yeah. believe it. <laughs> when With I see ushers. Jesus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ushers. <laughs> Smelling salts. Everybody come to the front. <laughs> come on to the front. <laughs> <laughs> right. You get the right mother to sing that thing. It's a, it's a rap. It's you a, better it's believe a, it's it. A, it's all the way. <laughs> yes, sir. What's next? I'll, I'll fly away for Jaylee. You know a little bit of I'll fly away? If not, I do it. Yeah, go ahead. Miss Kimberly Quarles, Jesus is all the world to me. Let me see. Let me see if I can do that for you.
Do you know um, he decided to die? Or what about, uh, let me see, I got some, here's some options. What about the goodness of God or God has smiled on me? I know God has smiled on me. Do a little bit of that one for me. Miss B to Chantel Williams, he would not come down from the cross. heard that before? They've, they don't sing that in Alabama? Where you from? They might have. I just, they might have. You just ain't heard it before? In my area. I haven't heard that. Okay, okay good. That's well, you got to nice learn hymn. something new. That's, That's by, uh, that's an old um, Donald Vale song. Look, look up Donald Vale. Oh, just look up He Decided to Die. Okay. That's like the Easter song of the, of the what's this, 21st century? Come on, help, help me, baby. Is this 21st century? That's like one of the most popular Easter songs of the 21st century. Okay. And then the blood still works, you know, that, that's, like the, that's like in the last 10, 15 years. But yeah, yeah. he decided to die, yeah, and that, that, that people fall out everywhere, just be gone. <laughs> 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 yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, let me see. Um, do you know um, old, old Edwin Hawkins, Oh Happy Day? Yeah, I know that one. You do a little bit of Oh Happy Day for me. That's for Miss mm -hmm. Robin Mendez New.
Yeah, that sound good. That was sounding good to us. I, I, I could see toes tapping in my, in my head. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Brother, uh, Pastor Milton Br Branch, uh, this is for you. Only a look. Only a look at Jesus. Only haven't heard that one before that's called only a look and the original artist was uh, roberta martin okay so you can go back and look at this broadcast sometimes i tell young musicians because oh, yeah. oh, there's a yeah. lot of stuff i don't know too i go back sometimes my guests know stuff i don't know but go back and listen to stuff like that and then look it up on it's a lot of it's a lot of people that have their own versions of it but that was a hot one back in the day yeah you know people my age we need to know stuff like that you know hey it's all good i can give you a funny <laughs> story behind it too my father <laughs> My father's cousin got beat up one day and went to church and started singing Only a Look, you know, the black eye. <laughs> okay, let's move oh on. Oh, my. <laughs> hey, that's awful. That's awful. Uh, <laughs> let me see. We have the goodness of God. We got Oh, to be kept by Jesus. Um, what other songs on your mind tonight? We don't, we don't, we don't have to do these. I'm, I'm gonna do some of them in, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a succession, in a row. But I want you to give me something else, anything on your mind in between this, and then I'm gonna run some of these back to back.
Is that one of your favorite hymns? Yeah, right there. Tis so sweet to trust in yes, Jesus. Sir. Yeah, y'all, we're here with Aaron Freeman. He's Aaron Freeman. He's been blessing us all night. Let's be a blessing to him. His, you can Zelle, Cash App, or PayPal. Amen. Those of y'all who live in, in the area surrounding him and you know him, be a blessing to him tonight. So into his ministry. If he's been a blessing to you, if you can be a witness to his faithfulness, be a blessing to him. Send him some money and say, hey, you know what? I used to love when the saints used to hand me a piece of, a piece of something in my hand and say, bless you, son, <laughs> and walk away. I used to be, that was a highlight of my Sunday. Amen. <laughs> I don't care what went on that day. You, somebody hand me a $20 bill in my hand. I'm smiling all the way to McDonald's. <laughs> all right. Let me keep going. <laughs> hey man, you don't be on loud with me, man. I mess you up. I mess you up. I'm, I'm gonna do a flurry. I'm gonna do that flurry, but I'm gonna do some songs in succession for some of the people who've asked for stuff. So this is for you, Dr. Velma Smith. Johnson Hold back tonight Valerie Jackson. Miss Pamela John Wofford.
Amen. Amen. Aaron, you've been a major blessing to us tonight, man. Just give me just a little bit more of that organ, and we're going we're gonna, we're gonna to be out of here. Just give me just a little bit more. Let me, let me, that organ is going to make me go to sleep good tonight. It make all of us. Y'all, just be a blessing to him tonight. Cash out, PayPal, Zell. Give me one more thing, and we'll be out of here. Amen. Yes, Lord. Y'all, he has blessed <laughs> us tonight. Lord have mercy. And I want to say thank you so much, sir, for joining. Will you come back and join us again? Yes, sir. Absolutely. Man, we really enjoyed you. My pleasure. Yes, sir. I've yes, enjoyed sir. being on here. It's been fun. It's been fun. Real fun. A a amen. Amen. And, and uh, God bless your parents and your family yes, and sir. all that you do uh, for the kingdom of God in that, yes, in that area of the world. We praise God for you. I want to give a quick shout out to those in Alabama watching. Amen. In various areas, Virginia, uh, Minister Obama, appreciate him, and just all the, everyone that's watching. Just giving a shout out and everything. Big shout out to my main man Earl, who just became the head of the GMWA Announcers yes, Guild that's Division. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, man, yeah. God, God bless you, my everything. friend. Yeah. Thank you for Great. for for telling me about Aaron, about Aaron Freeman. Lord have mercy. <laughs> <laughs> May you all not worry about anything because you prayed about everything. May you have a good night's sleep. May God's peace be upon you. Amen. And may I go upstairs and wash this spoon I just took up from the kitchen. All right, everybody. <laughs> have a great night. Thank you, Deacon. God bless. Aaron, hang on. Yes, sir. <laughs>